So hey guys, how's it going on? In this video, we are going to see that how we can delete our data from the Firebase Firestore database and let's get going without any further ado. So in the previous video, we have set up the create create uh, data setup and now we are going to do for the delete so for delete it's a very small function so i'm going to include it within the data block.jsx and uh, let's do it right here so first of all let's create a div here for the buttons okay so here i'm going to say button button and here i'm going to say delete and similarly i'm going to create another button for the edit functionality so it will be simply like this and now within this button we actually need to add our function and let's just save it and see whether we have our buttons or not and we have them beautifully fine and what I'm going to do now is create our very good function here so let's just let's just create it without any further ado so what I'm going to do now is create a simple function called delete doc and I know that is what you have expected also great and now we have to actually pass in the doc we are deleting from here so I'm just simply adding a random name that is doc x someone anonymous okay and then I, we have to do the same part so let us just import the reference okay so I will just say import ref our reference container which is here and then what I'm going to do is ref dot and ref what I'm going to do ref dot doc again doc and here we have to pass in some our ID which is the doc x dot ID okay now we have passed in doc doc x dot ID and then it is a simple function that is delete and it will be deleted now but we had to call this function and by chance if there are any errors what will we do we had to alert them right so i'm just going to copy that piece of code right from here i'm just copying it going here and then simply paste it here and it is the same stuff now what we are going to do is just call this function i'm going here and then i'm simply saying on click and after this you know what we have to do we just simply need to create an arrow function kind of stuff and then call this function delete doc and pass in our doc which is the dev we have taken from the app.js oh now it should work let's just test it out and if I click on delete nothing work let me just refresh it if I click on delete okay there is some error happening here guys so guys what's the error it's a very silly one let me tell you now no, like it's an error from the previous episode okay so what it is let me tell you so let us just log the dev here okay let me just log that complete object and let's now let's now let's just test it out okay so if i re clear my console and click on delete we have our this now check out this id 20130e1d now is is that same id anywhere now that id is here but we don't have that id here right we don't have it we act we are actually creating this id here to actually match it with this right but we don't have it here and that is the mistake in the fbcreate.jsx we have done this we haven't passed the id here but here we have created the function for id but we haven't used it i actually forgot to use it so if you faced if you were pulling out your hair because of this i'm really sorry guys it's my it's a mistake from my end i'm really sorry about that now let me just comment this out and let me add a notice kind of thing here use when you want an auto id from firestore now it is like this thing if i create a new document here you see something auto id that is this right but we don't want that and now here i'm going to do dot doc dot doc and within this doc i'm going to pass in the new data object new data object dot id and now if it doesn't work 
it is going to but before that i need to actually remove all this then it will work fine so let me just fastly remove all them all of them okay first one and then the second one and the last one now and fine now let me just simply go here let me ju just do a sheesh and then let me just do a uh, web dev and then okay some i press something unknownly i'm really sorry about that and uh, okay now if i uh, now it is created then let me just add something like random name a b and then let's just say app dev and if i click on click to create new doc this time the delete function should work and you see ashish is deleted and only a b should be here and if i as i click on delete here it is going to delete a b also and that is very much it now a small change here changed our whole life that isn't it okay so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching i will meet you again with another episode on the edit or update of firestore data until then bye guys and uh, that's it